John here guys and today we're talking about the Orca race goggles that's right Orca has a third model coming out it's based on the new FPV pilot and has all of the nice features the amazing DVR the really spectacular mic input so that you can record your surroundings and including all of the cursing that you do every time that you crash to make your DVR that much more interesting and also, it has a lower price, about a hundred bucks cheaper than the FPV Pilot. So the new Orca race is announced at this event. Yeah. Matt Max is going home with a pair of those, and we've seen Amari flying them. What's the difference between the Pilot and the race? After we released actually the, the first V1 goggles uh, with 44 degrees of field of view, racers were all complaining, like, yeah, that's not for racing, we need smaller FOV, and the big uh, picture is actually distracting. So we've been thinking for a while how do we actually make it a little bit sharper and more tailored for the racers. So this new racing edition, we are about to release it next week, basically the same as the standard V2 pilot goggles, but with a slightly smaller uh, screens. They are going to be about 100 bucks cheaper than the pilots. So, so it has all the nice features, the good oh, DVR, yeah. all the yeah. other things. So you have an, another option for those that want to save a little bit of money. Yeah, sure. Yes. 100 bucks cheaper, yeah. good for racing. On, all of the be on, bells and whistles, whistles you can find in, in, the, in the big ones. Nice. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that. So check your retailers if you're looking for some new goggles. You want to save a little bit. Don't care about the max Army field of view. Class. You can see everything at once. Yeah, the just try them on and then, then decide what works for you. Don't, don't read the, the numbers. Yeah, that's the option. Well, John, you gave Orca quite a bit of a hard time when they released the FPV pilot set of goggles and the screens were a bit smaller. And I do still stand by those comments, but I did want to clarify. I actually got to spend some time with Vlaco from Orca at Costa Rica. Me and him and Tony Cake and some of the top racers pretty much hung out every night having some all-inclusive Imperial Costa Rican cervezas and talking about the state of FPV in the economy. And I have to say, after seeing a lot of the top pilots flying the Orca goggles and inspecting them myself, I have to reiterate one of the things that I said before. They have the best tooling. They have the best looking goggle. They have the best feeling goggle. They have one of the best comfort goggles. They have some features that I really, really like. I personally would love that mic input feature. But for me personally, the field of view is my most important feature. And I feel like it's the feature that people look for when they're shopping. But is it actually the most important feature for flying? Racers do often say they prefer not a giant in your face view because they need to be able to see the entire screen. So you want a wide camera to be able to see a lot of information, but not necessarily have to look around at it like you would an IMAX. And that's kind of what Orca delivers. If Orca had a 44 or 46 degree field of view goggle with all of these new features, I'd be flying it right now. And a lot of other people would too. But that is not necessarily the most important feature. I think that's what people look for when they're shopping. But is it the actual most important feature? Probably not. And a lot of the top racers that you see in Costa Rica flying these goggles can attest to that a lot of the top people who have upgraded 80K in my local chapter, Bot Grinder, Izzy Boot from Bot Grinder's crew, and a lot of other people are really on board with this and they prefer the more premium experience, the better product. And there's no mistaking that it's a better product. I also think it's very notable that in a very short amount of time, Orca has become what I consider the second best goggle on the market. A lot of people would say they're the first best product on the market, but what pretty much no one can argue about is they have surpassed Fat Shark in every way. Fat Shark, the dominant presence in this industry for many, many years. And in only two product iterations, Orca had pretty much surpassed them in every way. I don't recommend anyone to get Fat Sharks today, I would recommend you get either the Orca or the Sky Zone based on your needs. And my Sky Zone isn't perfect, but I really appreciate about the Orca company is that they have a large team and they're really trying to listen and innovate quickly. They're sending people out to these events to talk to pilots, to talk to people like me, to talk to racers, and they're taking that feedback back. And so they actually have the expertise, the staff, 
And the manufacturing capacity and ability, I have no doubt because they've already made the best looking and feeling product on the market. So I feel like they have an industry leader probably in the next generation, but there's already a lot of people that are gonna be switching to this goggle. So I like that they have another option on the market. Having lower cost options is always the key. Fat Shark has the attitude line, which costs less and come with some compromises. The compromises that you get with the Orca Race goggles is a smaller field of view, but that's it. The smaller field of view and lower resolution is the only compromise you have to make to fly these goggles. Every other awesome Orca feature is included and you get a really spectacular white colorway. They also come in a really cool 533 branded edition, which you can get. I had a day, I, I had a really good day. So it was like, first of all, phenomenal racing, right? I mean, just on the beach, between the palm trees, over coconuts. Man, to win a whole yeah. set of goggles, that is, that's that's awesome. that is yeah, a yeah. prize. Yeah. Wow. What is your favorite analog goggle? What is the most important thing to you? Is it screen size? Is it DVR quality, which the Orca has had for two generations? Is it processing power and other features and the ability to release nice updates? Is it the microphone input, which I personally think is one of my favorite features? And if there's anything that really makes me want to get a pair of Orca goggles in my hand, that's it. Way to go, Orca. We are rooting for you. I'm really excited about how this company is interacting with the community. I still need the features that I need in order to switch, but we're rooting for you. And if there's any company out there that I really want to succeed, it's probably them. Very impressed with how far they've come in just two generations. And they're basically one generation from an undisputed dominance. Thanks guys.